What's going on, all gamers? Today we're back with some more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. What we're going over today is one of the coolest guns in the game. A little bit of pun intended, but it's definitely one of the best frost guns and well worth having. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back, we guys and girls. As always, for things gaming, for things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? I'll bring you all the latest and greatest content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. But for today, you're here to see this gun right here, just an absolutely amazing and fun gun to use. Now the gun in question is this one, the Borea's Breath of the Warlock. I honestly think this is one of the best looking guns in the game for what it brings to the table, and it's just a really, really good gun to use. If you're into that frost damage, you can definitely do worse than this. Now, it all depends on your roll and such, this one's not bad, but it is still a great to use, and that's mainly for the effects it brings off. So if I show you now, just aim at its target, don't worry too much about the damage, that's down to my build, not the actual gun. As you can see, that effect just there is absolutely awesome, as it kind of hits enemies with glacial spikes. It can go through quite a few, and you can be pulling these off every which way but loose. It is ridiculously fun. Does a lot of damage, does a lot of frost, does a lot of slow, I believe as well. Just a great gun to use. Really fun, and I'd say probably one of the best kind of moves in the game for frost, especially from a gun that I've seen. Now, if you're wondering how to get this, what we're going to do is head straight to your world map, zoom all the way out, and nice and easy, pretty much everyone should have this. We're jogging all the way back to the Snoring Valley, and we're going to click in there. Now unfortunately we'll take a bit of a run the first time, but what you're going to do, you'll spawn in here and you're going to run all the way through the map and head all the way over, making it to this location just here where we're going to fight the boss. Now remember, depending on your level and how you're geared up, you may want to change the Chaos difficulty because it will mean there's more chance of it dropping. As you can see here, you're going to get 80% extra on your loot luck, so it's well worth doing if you can manage on Chaos Mode 20. If you haven't, don't worry, just do whatever you can. Once you're in, you're going to want to just make your way through. Now, if it's been an absolute age, you may forget, but at the start, don't worry about going to the broken bridge, chuck a right and head through here. From there, just absolutely leg it and run all the way as far as you can all the way to the end boss. There's no real point worrying about fighting and such, you're just trying to make it to that end location and from there you'll be able to spawn in at that boss whenever you want, nice and easy and fast. Now because you're at this checkpoint just here, rather than having to make that run every single time which would be a nightmare, what you're going to do is head straight through here and you're just going to drop down take on the boss again. Now finally, upon beating him, you won't always be rewarded with this, it's much like RNG, the same as the rest of the game, but if you're lucky, you'll get your hands on this weapon, and honestly I'd say it's one of the best frost ones to have in the game, and definitely one of the coolest looking with those effects going off. But as always guys and girls, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care, I'll see you on the next day.